Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, so, uh, in this video, I'm going to um, show you how you can configure um, web policy override for some certain users in now uh, within your environment. Maybe you block some certain sites and you want to give um, privilege to certain users instead of creating a new firewall uh, policy. You can actually grant them privilege by providing um, some certain codes or password. So um, let's get started. So um, let's first um, block some certain sites. Let's block uh, Facebook and um, and Twitter and some gambling sites. You know, so you have to come to your web. Uh, your web tab. Let's define a um, user activities. Then add. So um, add um, block um, block websites. Mm -hmm. So save. Okay. Category. So um, yeah, we are going to select um, our category. Category. Um, Facebook and Twitter force to um, social. Um, networking okay then gambling sites so those are the two okay then save the other categories you can also add depending on what you want to do then let's go to policy then you add policy you name your policy as a uh, block web sites block okay block yeah let's use the websites can name it anything such gambling yeah so let's start let's add our rule so we are going to add the rule we created in that place um, so activities add new let's go to show only and um, user activity so in our user activity we have um, We have block websites. This is the activity we created the other time. So for us to see it, I see. See. <coughs> so block web websites, block HTTPS, then activate it. You come down. You can just play around this and force this number and see. So we have to add, uh, apply this policy to our firewall. Our firewall. So based on my firewall, this is the uh, firewall rule that um, is applied applicable to everybody on the line. So come here, click on it, mm -hmm. then come to web policy and block. Um, say this. This is it. Then see. So with this user will not be uh, the users on, on our network will not be able to visit on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Gambling site. Let's let's try our uh, Facebook. Facebook. So. So Facebook is now responding. Stop. I see. Let's try Google. Google should go. You understand? Yeah. So let's try uh, Ninja Bits. Ninja Bits is one of. Um, one of the gambling sites we need to um, stop. So um, based on this, we have two category of sites that have been um, that have been blocked. But we want to grant maybe um, a user an access to to uh, to Facebook. Understand? So we come to um, web policy. Um, this web this page. The world. So, come to web and to so, um, general settings. On general settings, now you come to uh, you scroll down to um, this. So you you enable this, enable this. So um, you can either integrate your so based on um the um, users that I have 
on my network of authentication and users. I have I have created users locally and I've migrated um, users. I have integrated um, active my active directory um, to with um, with the firewall I get in. So I have users that are from the uh, active directory that I integrated with, and I have users that are created locally. So based on what I have here, I want to allow um, like brow this uh, particular user to have access to Facebook only. Mm -hmm understand and um, this also will come to web mm. then come to general setting then come to the scroll down okay you know, I already enabled this so you enable it so authorized users and groups so if you have um, maybe one or two users who want to give advanced access to those sites you can um, just but for now I will check this. I only want um Bao to have access to those at the Facebook. So um, this part talks about sites that um, users will not have access to, like um videos. Thing talks about YouTube, all the side out the host of video and streaming. You understand? So I don't want users to have access to gambling sites. So add it here. So you understand? Then you check this. Because we are going to make use of it in our, in our user portal when we go to the user portal. Then, um, here we come to here. Let's go to um, the user portal. So, my user portal will visit user portal to set up um, the website um, override for the user. So, the user have to. Um, input um, its credentials on the user portal to be able to set um, the uh, web policy override for exemption <coughs> uh, for himself. So, so we have on the on the user portal, the user portal page, we have uh, my policy overrides. So here, yeah, let's let's delete this. So, like, so yeah, the user can add the website that has been uh, exempted for him. Session, you can name it anything. Maybe Facebook, Facebook permits. Hmm? So, generate access code. So this is the access code, and the user is going to can just copy. The user can copy it. So allow the website, and you can write um, www dot facebook.com it's not it's not really necessary to type this but uh, for uh, also so allow website category so the website category you selected in, the, in that site is social so you're only allowing social networking for this user so the user can um, also add the time at which he can he or she can um, be permitted to have access you know, it can be a time frame of maybe 30 minutes or a day so here it can be so i want it um maybe um maybe five days in a week five hours okay work hours maybe five days in a week or all this i get involved just grant you know five hours then apply so based on this as a as an administrator you can go back to your um to the xg page and see so this this is uh, what has been created by the user for himself <clears throat> so um, when you visit uh, Facebook um, what you see is um, this stop page and you see here uh, um, I have an override code so user can easily go to their user portal page then this um, access code you copy it then you paste go so with this you should be able to grant this specific user an access to straight to Facebook so you can see <coughs> now I have access to, to Facebook but uh, if I'm to visit um, gambling site like um mm, okay 
Let's search Birmingham site. So, so now we um, because of the policies that I set, um, there won't be any <coughs> override code for me because um, the permit I have as for the access I have is just to social networking sites and not gambling sites. So we can just try this with your users online. So please kindly subscribe.